if you get this error message and the error says error occurs when running MSI Central Server, so I'll guide you on how to resolve this problem. Make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Now start by trying this. Just uninstall the MSI Center and the MSI Center SDK, then restart your PC. You can do it by just pressing window plus arrow key on your PC and then type here, which is upwiz.cpl, and then you click OK. It will open the programs and features. Now look for these two programs, which is MSI Center and MSI Center SDK. So look for MSI Center. Let's say this one is MSI Center. So let's say this one, you have to look for it. So let's say this is MSI Center. You have to right click on it and then select uninstall. And then look for MSI Center SDK as well. Also uninstall it by right click on it and then select uninstall. After uninstalling these two programs, when they restart your PC, after restarting your PC, then delete all files under this one. So go to this directory here, which is C program files 86. Press window plus E. And then go to this PC, open this C, and then look for program files 86. Open it. Look for MSI folder and make sure to delete it. Come back and then go to program files again. And then look for MSI folder and then make sure to delete it. So for this file, which is program files 86 and program files, program files, and then program files 86, look for any MSI folder that is found on these two files and make sure to remove them. After deleting them, and then just go to this one, which is program data. So copy this, which is percent, program data percent, and then press window plus arrow, and then just type here percent, program data, then percent exactly like this, and then click OK. It will open your program data. Look for any MSI folder, also delete it. Come back and then also press percent up data percent. So press window plus arrow. And then type here, which is percent. So let me remove this. Percent up data percent. Then click OK. Look for any MSI folder. Also make sure to delete it. After that, run this, which is clean center master. This will help you remove any leftover files for MSI center. The link will be available on the description of this video. Also click to the to this link to take you to, to just start downloading the zip file. So if I click to this link, it will start downloading the zip file for Clean Center Master. After finishing download, make sure to extract this zip folder and run this application, which is Clean Center Master. After running this application, your PC will restart and the MSI Center leftover files will be deleted. After that, after your PC has restarted, then run this command prompt, which is just type here window, type CMD and run command prompt as administrator. So select here, run as administrator. After running command prompt as administrator, now just type this command here on the search. So you have to type it like this, which is SFC leave a space slash scan now, exactly like this. So you have to type SFC. I'm not going to do so, but for you, you have to do it. So just type SFC leave a space slash scan now, and let this complete after that to restart your PC. After your PC has restarted, now install MSI Center via the Microsoft Store. So search here for Microsoft Store, open the Microsoft application, and then search here for MSI. So search for MSI Center, and this is the MSI Center. So you'll have to install the MSI Center from the Microsoft Store, and this should fix your problem. Now, if you have done so, but are still facing again the same issue, if it doesn't work, make sure your Windows is up to date and there is no any pending update. So make sure your Windows is up to date. You can type here for Windows updates. So type Windows updates and check for updates. If there is any pending updates, you'll be able to update it. As you can see, my PC is, is up to date. So you have to check for updates. If there are any updates, make sure to update them and then try to check if the problem has been resolved. Also, another fix is Disable all non Microsoft services on system configuration, which is MS configure. So type here for system configuration. It open the system configuration application. Select here on the service tab. Now follow the instructions here. So also on the service tab here, click this checkbox here, which is hide all Microsoft services. And then check this, which is disable all. After disable all, this all non Microsoft services will be disabled on your PC. After that, restart your computer. After restart your computer, you can then come back again. So after restart your computer, just listen to this. Restart your PC after disabling all non Microsoft services on system configuration, then restart your PC and try running the program to see if the problem is resolved. If it works, 
re-enable the services one by one, restarting each time. Most people have found that the issue is caused by net limiter for services. So just do it like just type here system configuration and open this application. Go to the service tab and then make sure to check this hide all Microsoft services. This will hide all Microsoft services. Then check this disable all. This will disable all the services which are listed here. After that, restart your PC and try to check if the problem has been resolved. If it has been fixed, if it has been resolved, then one of the programs here or one of the services is the one which is causing the issue. So make sure to re-enable one by one and try to check which one is the problem. Since you re-enable one by one, you'll find that when you re-enable one of them, and then your PC will be able to maybe have this problem when try to running that program. So just disable that one which is having the problem. So restart your PC and then try running the program to see if the problem is resolved. If it works, re-enable the services one by one, restarting each time. Most people have found that the issue is caused by net limiter for service. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Also, make sure your internet connection is active. If you followed all the instructions but are still facing again the same issue, also ensure that if you have any third-party antivirus programs like Avast, excluding Windows Defender, also make sure to temporarily disable your antivirus programs. So make sure to disable any of your antivirus programs if you have it. Or if you use the VPN, also make sure to disable it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this story has helped you. And see you next time.